why don't you talk to us about how television is, is leading um, the marketplace in terms of content and wh how, you know, when you got into it in Grey's Anatomy eight or nine years ago, it, it was at one stage, but you've seen this tremendous growth in television, well, I, creatively. I think, I think that what's happening is, and it's happening very quickly, is that what used to be great, I mean, certainly, if you look back at the studio system, movies in the 70s or before that, there were really interesting films being made, and those films started to disappear, uh, and then they, then they became uh, part of what the independent world was making, and then, it became more difficult for interesting films to be made in the independent world. And now what you're seeing is that, that writers and directors and producers and actors who want to do interesting work because the landscape has opened up so much are starting to do that work on television. And the great thing is that, that you know, it used to be that, that, that there were movie actors and movie writers and movie directors, and then there was a line, and then there were people who worked in television. And that line is, is disappeared. Not only has it blurred, it's disappeared. You're seeing movie stars doing television. You're seeing television stars who were still doing television making movies. You're seeing writers cross uh, directors, uh, producers. It's exciting because in the end, all that we're doing is we're telling stories and we're trying to find the best size screen, the best delivery system. Um, it's interesting, there's a, there's a I, I love telling this story, and probably half of the audience is bored and heard it already, but, but there's a great, there was a great commercial years ago in New York on, on television, and there was a, um, a, a close-up of a little girl and a little boy, and the off-screen off voice said, gee, Susie, what do you want to be when you grow up? And Bobby, I want to be a doctor, I want to be a lawyer, I want to be a, an Indian chief, I want to be a fireman. And what about you, Barney? What do you want to be when you grow up? And there's this long pause, and the kid says, I don't know, but they're all going to need clothes. <laughs> and, and, and the point is that, that we are storytellers. We're going to find a, a, a way to tell our stories, whether it's being funded the way Stacy is talking about, whether it's funded by a big studio, where it's on the internet, on our computer, on a television screen, which presumably all of these things will be merging and the technology is getting so interesting and it's moving so quickly. But I think what all of this has done is that it's given rise to, to specifically in television, the opportunity to do the work where you have the opportunity to do it. And I also think that, that writers who I think we would all agree are, are where we must start because as producers, it's all about the material. Uh, you know, what, what Stacy was saying before, it's a, it's a great script that you believe in it. You can make that happen. It's a tangible thing. Yes, you have to have some luck. Yes, you have some, some opportunity. But if it's a great script, you, you will find a way. Um, and I think writers who have always been um, the, the voices and the leaders and the, the power in television, uh, feature writers are starting to want that same kind of voice in their work instead of handing it over to a director, you know, being bounced off the project. So I think there are a lot of reasons why this is happening. And I think the good news is, is that we're all benefiting by being able to see more interesting work on television, uh, in movies everywhere, but particularly in television now where, where the landscape has changed to allow that.